Washington National Cathedral tolled its funeral bells Thursday in honor of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Let's take a moment of silence. Queen Elizabeth II, who's Britain's longest reigning monarch, she's died at the age of 96. And we're dedicating today's hot topics to her life and her legacy. It only seems right. Yes. She spent you. seven decades on the throne as the UK rebuilt from war, lost an empire, transformed its economy, and both entered and left the European Union. Upon the Queen's death, her 73-year-old son, Charles, becomes king and will now be known as King Charles III. Elizabeth was a constant present, the only monarch most Britons have ever known. Yes. I love that. She was the comforting touchstone for her people and her loyal family during moments of tragedy and challenge, revered at home and respected across the world. Her former appointment of a new prime minister just two days ago, providing her her last public photo and completing a remarkable arc of history across her 70 year reign as queen. Yes, and for all the formality and privacy in her life, Queen Elizabeth had rock star status, yeah. connecting with the masses in her own way, becoming a towering figure in pop culture. Our Molly Hunter has more. The queen's image was recognizable around the world. A pop cultural icon. The queen has been depicted in popular culture more than any other person really because she is a global icon she is immediately recognizable anywhere and everywhere in the world and because she's been around for such a long time at a glance queen elizabeth was known for her handbags her pearls her eye-catching bright colors some say her outfits reflected her belief that she had to be seen to be believed artists took inspiration from her likeness and while shows and movies about the worlds took off i don't often get into a fight but when i do i want to win the Queen herself wasn't necessarily a loyal fan. We know that some members of the royal family watched The Crown and other uh, dramatizations of the monarchy. There's never been any suggestion that the Queen herself watched it. You know if you're born into the royal family, hundreds of thousands of pages of script and drama will be written about you, whether you like it or not. She did embrace her pop culture status from time to time. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Appearing alongside Daniel Craig's James Bond during the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympics. And to those who knew her best, she had a very different side, less formal perhaps, than the reserved leader we all saw. I always wonder whether anyone properly captured her sense of humor. There is a knife in my I know there is. <laughs> She exceeds the throne when she's just 25, not only proves herself to be probably one of Britain's most stalwart, if the most stalwart public servant that's ever lived. England's longest serving monarch, her dedication to service defined the royal family, adored at home and admired by fans around the world. A life well lived. Yes. Oh, a man. life well lived Don't for sure. So I saw the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower, and I think we've got some video of both kind of changing colors. Uh, the Empire State Building lit silver and purple in honor of Her Majesty, and then the Eiffel Tower turned off on Thursday night in honor of Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, wow. Well, the news industry also mourning the loss of Bernard Shaw, CNN's chief anchor for 20 years. A Chicago native, Shaw became CNN's first chief anchor when the 24-7 cable news channel launched in June of 1980. Over the course of his career, Shaw covered some of the landmark stories of the last three decades, including the student uprising in Beijing in 1989, the death of Princess Diana in 1997, and the 2000 presidential race. Shaw has received various honors, including an introduction into the Broadcasting and Cable Hall of Fame, and two Lifetime Achievement Awards. He was 82 years old. Wow. I don't think I knew he was from Chicago. Yes. Yeah. Wow. What, talking about a life well lived. Absolutely. He did a lot for the industry. So. He did. We'll be right back with more Fifth Day in WA.